What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's Thursday evening here in Finley, Ohio. It's snowing like crazy out here, so what better place to be than inside getting ready to have a nice beer? Uh, the beer that I have today is Chocolate Raspberry Sour Smoothie from High Wire Brewing. Um, after the kind of fiasco I had the other day with the uh, smoothie style beer, I figured I'd give another one a shot to see if I can kind of compare the two. So this is from High Wire Brewing in Asheville, North Carolina. I went to their website and it did say that their tap rooms are open at half capacity because of COVID. Um, but it looks like they have tap rooms in Knoxville, Tennessee, as well as Asheville, Wilmington, and Durham, North Carolina. Um, so they got a couple of different spots. They had a ton of beers when you went to the website and looked at the beers. They had their kind of regular offerings, which was some IPAs, a lager, brown ale, some locale beers, stuff like that. Then they had uh, seasonals, specialties, and sours. So a ton of different offerings from Highwire. I went through Untapped and it looked like I've had three of their beers in the past, and all three of them I gave pretty good grades. So it appears that I like Highwire for the most part. So this one here is a sour smoothie chocolate raspberry tart wheat ale brewed with raspberries, cocoa nibs, and lactose. So sounds kind of interesting. Um, I'm hoping that this has a little more body to it than that one I had the other day from the Connecticut brewery. So let's see what happens. This is 5.5% ABV. On Untapped, it got a 3.82, uh, but there were only 55 check-ins. So it's gotta be a relatively new beer, I guess. Beer Advocate wasn't even registered in their system, so NA. So early days on this, I'm happy to try it. And I'm going with this Phillies glass I used the other day. Um, one of the, the regular viewers said I defiled it by pouring the Natty Daddy into it, essentially, and he's 100% right. The, the glass deserves more uh, classy beers than the Natty Daddy, so we'll go with this. Color's interesting. I don't know what color I expected it to be. I mean, I guess with raspberry, you kind of think it's going to be this purplish reddish color, but maybe because of the chocolate or whatever, I expect it maybe to be a little bit darker. But it's kind of a, an interesting color. Um, I don't even know what you describe it as. It's kind of like a hazy, cloudy, purplish um, pink, I guess, or purplish red. Had a, a little bit of head there, not too much. Maybe the width of my thumb before kind of dissipated. Looks off-white, a little bit of a hue to that as well, maybe. Smell. Smells is interesting. Pick up a little bit of the raspberry. Definitely pick up a little bit of, of sour funkiness, which is nice, right up my alley. That's about it. Maybe you pick up a tiny bit of the chocolate. Yeah, you do. That's that's a little different. All right, let's go in and see how this is. Right off the bat, this has much more body to it than that one I tried a few days ago. Um, when I hear smoothie, I don't know, I think of something that's a little more thick or silky. The one I had the other day was straight water. Um, this, on the other hand, it's not the thickest beer in the world. It's definitely not a stout or anything like that, but it has a little more body to it, uh, a little bit more of a, of, a, of a nice silky texture, kind of what I would associate with a smoothie. As to the taste, right up front, you kind of get a little bit of sour raspberry. Now, I was hoping it would be a, maybe a little more sour. I would say this is probably more tart than sour. But you do pick up kind of a nice tart raspberry, then it kind of fades away a little bit, and you get a little bit of the, the cocoa for the cocoa nibs. Um, and that's kind of it, really. I mean, other than you get the, the tart sourness or whatever. That's a nice beer. Um, if you're not a huge sour fan, you could probably easily drink this. And if you are a sour fan, I think you would still like it. Um, I had a discussion with somebody on on. YouTube about this the other day. It might have been Woolman from Woolman's Reviews or somebody like that. I can't remember exactly who it was or bought a gentleman. But we were talking about um, sours. And one of the problems with beers now is they kind of throw around the word gozes and sours and Berliner Weisses. And some of them are really true to style. Others are just God knows what, some kind of abomination. Um, but because it's a, a popular buzzword, I guess brewers keep throwing it around. I think this one is indeed sour. It is, it is sour. I mean, like I said, it's probably more on the tart end of the spectrum. It's not a, a, a lip puckering sourness to it. Um, but you do get a nice little bit of a, a funky tart flavor with the raspberry. And I think it's pretty well done. So high wire, sour smoothie chocolate raspberry, 
Um, this is a bit of a redemption, so I like this a lot more than that one I had the other day. High Wire would get the thumbs up. I would drink another one of these for sure. This is a nice taste in beer. If you like raspberries and sours and stuff like that, um, but don't want something super sour, this is perfect. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, you know anything about Highwire, maybe you've been to one of their locations down in Tennessee or North Carolina, let me know what you think of them. Hey, until next time, cheers.